So, hi everyone, um, welcome to an improvement phase, to the improvement phase. This is the first improvement phase and we will be trying to improve this design. It's just a walkthrough process and uh, we'll be improving this design as we move forward. So, um, before we start the improvement, I just want to give you a rundown or, or a quick rundown of the principles of design. There are mainly seven, but we have, I, I think we have eight here in this case so there are seven principles where you could apply you could apply when you are, when it comes to designing so for this case we have and uh, we have emphasis so where you lay more emphasis when you are designing and also have balance so how you distribute the elements on your canva also matters we also have alignment how you distribute those elements understand so where you distribute and how you distribute those elements whether it's right aligned center aligned or left aligned we have contrast so what's um how you could differentiate the elements on the artboard or on your canva you have reputation to show a um to show consistency whether it's to a particular maybe you have a particular um how do i put it for you a element that you just wanted to want to lay emphasis so you could use reputation also to lay emphasis how proportion how big and how small they can be we have movement so how um the viewers i will move from where you want it to move so for the most emphasized to the least emphasized or in that in that case hierarchy instead so so we have um also white space so how much space is being um is being utilized how you utilize space and how much space you actually give when you are designing so we are going to apply all those principles or not basically all but apply most of the principles to the improvement phase of this design so just going to try and improve we're not saying the design is bad we're just saying we're going to try as much as possible to see how we can improve the design so i've used two minutes to talk let's just go straight into it so i will import my picture or my elements i will import just only the pictures that's all but i will be designing everything from scratch um, so everything I'll be using here will be designed from scratch. Also the background, I'll not be using any images for the background. I'll design everything here and um, then we'll see how the whole process. So this is the image I will be using for this design, I think. Um, I've been using her for quite some time now and I will still use her for the design. I do not have any template or have any idea of what I'm designing. So I do not, I have not designed it for hand or before this tutorial. So we'll be designing from scratch. We'll be designing, seeing how we can do what we want to do here. And also want to just get my color palette. So I will also um, drag, drag in my colors. I will put the link to the description of the color pigmentshapefactory.co. And that's what I'm using for the design. So I could select a particular choice of color I want. I think I will go with this to show it to be more um, enthusiastic and more lively. So we'll look for a color combination that will work better for us. So I think we'll just go with this. Um, we'll use this instead. So I'll pick the brightest and I will create some like this and um, i will duplicate one to this end and um, have this to be the lightest or the brightest and paste it there i'll pick the darkest and also copy the hex code and um, so like this Com double click on that and i control v and paste so okay so combining the colors together we're going to combine the colors we, we select the two of them and use the blend mode we use specific steps we'll use i use just four instead and say okay then we can click on this and click on this and we have uh we have like a color palette you understand just for the color there yeah. so then we have for the lightest one and also we just we can duplicate this if we want then we could uh, expand it, fill it, and uh, ungroup it, and select this mid part and take that off. So we select this part, select it, paste the lighter one, 
Oops, that one. Copy the hex code. Come here. And you paste the hex code. So you can select two of them and you could use a short code Control Alt B and it gives you the same thing. So let's just go straight into it. I will just make it as simple and as minimalistic as possible. So we have our image here. We are going to be using somewhat of a white background. In this case, let us um, select gray or something, ash or gray or something like that. And send it to the back. You can position this here. Good. So I will be using what font? I'll be using Mozart. It's Mozart. Mozart. Increase Mozart to about sixty. And let's type what we so we say I am looking to grow my my team. Uh, I would like to break this. Looking to grow to grow my team. Let's make capital letters. Drop reduce the um the space line spacing. Or some people usually call it line spacing, but you could also call it um, the leading. It's called the leading instead. So I think something like this is nice. Bring her forward, set it to the to be inside. We could go to 80. No, bring it back to 6. It's up to 6. And then we'll take her back a little bit. So my emphasis is here, law of emphasis. Um, so hierarchy, yeah. So it's starting from here. Then we could have like a body that we could see generate extra money. So we'll say generate, generate extra money. Uh, we choose it to medium font. Also to like this. Could increase it to about thirty. So it's not like there's a rule, but I think there's like a guide you could also follow to seeing how you could adjust the font. Okay, so uh, we are going to have emphasis based on colors. So this is why I'm going to be using my colors. I could, no, sorry. Um, select the text, you highlight this, and you use that, you could pick. So it picks only one color, but I think red should make it more passionate um, orange okay yeah this is good you could drop the leading and bring it down okay i think this is okay <coughs> then you have um i think generate my extra money so bring down some points that's what you see paid and buy Let's so something like this. Good. So I think we have a structure in our right, other established. So we work on something like a background, something like that. So I like to. I have an idea to just like create an emphasis on that face, and I want it to be kind of. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. What I was thinking. So let's have this color. We have a shade of this. And um, let's apply an effect called distort and transform to roughen, uh, reduce much details like this. Then we could click on it, transform, go to scale, we'll go to scale by 90%. Set copy and reduce it small. I think that's be okay. Change the color to a light hour. And select two of them, group them, and send them to the back. Oh, see they go to her back okay so we have this here and we can i think this is good um it doesn't affect your text any way possible then, okay so you reduce i think after duplication you reduce this and uh, then bring it here i just don't want too much explanation and then you could 
have a deploy effect. It's not too much. Something like this. We just scale it down a little bit. And then I just want like something just a little bit of touch touches to it. Good. Um, yeah, so top like this, Let's scale it down a little bit. So we can have like probably, uh, let me just try something else. We could have this oh, mistake, but we could have this, but instead, we will change the color to something. I want it to like radiating from her. Like a center. Um, let me work on something. Okay, so I will ungroup them. The center one, I'll take it off. The alpha one, we will scale it up to this size and we we'll transform it, scale down, and have that change percent. And copy it. Why this is the main background. We have the inner one. So where is the inner one? Okay, good. So no, I think um, okay. So scale twenty copy. It should be there. It shouldn't be hiding. Um, we have you this place here and you should shift a little bit because you're blocking us could have down deleted and then i think there should be one take this guy back come here place you come back to your place and probably just bring it to the top so be able to see um just extreme white and select drop them and then you blend them so you have control alt b and yes you have something like this good so with this we could if you want to produce opacity that's something like this so it doesn't too pronounced send it back come front a little bit and uh, yeah you could adjust and stuff like that then if you want to see how it looks trimmed that's in the um, square size that is the tenancy by tenancy come to view you can come to trim view and it will trim it for you so we could also do it like this and then um, yeah i think this is good yeah this is good so how about back on there and and uh, i think that's all that's just all so i think this is good yeah so this is good this is the before and this is the after and i will go with this anytime so you will tell me if it's an up or it's a down if it's a yes or a no so i will also hit the here for you guys in the comment section thanks guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one